Feel free to come on down, stand, kneel, however you want to do it, but praise and worship Amen. with joy. Okay, before we get started, I feel I have a, a word right out of the gate for somebody. Oh, okay. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Quite, you know, really, guitar players need three arms. Uh, <clears throat> Psalm 121 talks about God being our keeper like five times. And keeper is he protects us, he preserves us, he guards us. And it says that he who keeps you will not slumber. It says the Lord shall, I'm going to say keep you from all evil. He shall keep your soul. He shall keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and evermore. And by the way, Psalm 91 that we know about inside and out, Psalm 91, 11, where it talks about he gives his angels charge over us to keep us, same word. So God the keeper kind of releases a little extra measure of insurance. Not only does he keep us, but the host keep us as well. And so this is the word that I have this morning. If there's some here that you're waiting on your healing, you're waiting in faith, but it has not quite manifested yet, then you can bank on the fact that if he's not your healer today, he's your keeper. He's your keeper. Don't you dare let pain or sickness steal your worship this morning. Because worship, I declare, is going to be amazing. Because he is worthy of amazing. Amen, Jason?
you this morning and we wait for you
church, listen to your story. Lord, we know that we never have to wait for you to walk into the room. It's a nice thing to sing, but we don't really have to wait for that because you're already here. But we do wait for you. We do wait upon you. We want to minister to you this morning, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Be blessed by the sound of your children worshiping you, adoring you, loving you. You are exalted and honored in this place. We glorify you, God, forever and ever and ever.
just begin to raise your own hallelujah. There's a song of worship that's locked in the inside of you, just waiting to get out. It's your melody of war. It's your weapon. response from us, right? Your hallelujahs have caused the Father and the Son to raise up from their throne and begin to dance among us this morning.
As I was praying yesterday, just really seeking the Lord, and this is after all the songs have been chosen, and Holy Spirit is so good about choosing songs. I didn't even realize we were singing so much about his resurrection and his life and our life and resurrection as a result of that. 1 John 4, 19 says that we can love because he first loved us. You know that God is the initiator, right? Our worship is merely a response to what he's initiated. It's the right response because he's worthy of our worship. He's worthy of our praise. But as I was sitting with him yesterday, I really sensed the invitation from God. Not to do more, but to be more. And then I'm reminded that we are called the beloved. Be loved more. Be loved. That's why we're called the beloved. We're to be loved. So be blessed this morning, knowing that you delight him so. Be thrilled to know that he takes great pleasure in just the image of you. Be blessed to know that he's got his eye on you. That you ravish his heart. Be enlarged by his love this morning. Be expanded by his love. Be bathed in his love. Be healed and transformed by his love. Allow his love to plunge you deeper into the deep places of his heart. And the picture I got was the waterfall in Psalm, I think, 40. 243 where it talks about deep calls unto deep and the roar and the noise and the voice same word of your waterfall if you're standing on a, underneath the waterfall you're not going to stand your ground you're going to get plunged into the depths of that water and so the invitation is to stand underneath the waterfall of his love allow that love to not just wash over you gently but to violently plunge you into the depths of who you are and who he has created you to be. This love is outrageous. It's extravagant. It's all-consuming. It's unequaled by any other love. It's overwhelming. It's everlasting. It's unending. It's incomparable. And like a wrecking ball, God's love will break through every barrier everything that holds you back. And it will bring every wall crashing down. His love will crush fear in your life. It will remove every obstacle that impedes your forward motion. So be loved, bride. Be loved right where you are. Beloved, be Loved and all the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the 99. And I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it.
be loved. Be loved. Be loved. This is what I want to do as a response to the love that you're feeling right now. If you have your prayer language, I want you to begin to express your love language to him. We're not interceding at this point, but we're just, we're just snuggling up to God. We're snuggling up to him and we're just responding because how can we not respond? Oh, shambakariyatorabate. Oh, rindakarotarabate. Because Father, Jesus, and Holy Spirit, they have to respond. It's the love language that we share. The reciprocal flow of the bride and the bridegroom. And so it's raining down his love. We're standing underneath it. We're standing underneath the downpour And we are changed We are changed by your love We are so changed And I just, there's an invitation here to step into the deep end. There's still some that are standing on a safe place where you're not going underwater. You can touch bottom so you think that's safe enough. No, he wants you not touching bottom today. The deep end. He wants to immerse you. That is the invitation. Oh, you got to come up. Oh, you got to get close. Oh, you gotta hear my heartbeat. You gotta hear my heartbeat. Oh, you gotta get close. You gotta let go of the yesterdays. Oh, you gotta let go of the yesterdays. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. You gotta run, 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 run now. Run, 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 run now. Oh, who cares? 
cares what people think? Who cares what people think? It only matters what I think, what I think, what I think. I see you, you are holy, you are righteous, you're the head and not the tail. You are, you are, you are my child, you are my beloved. So run, 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 run to me. Run, 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 run to me. Run, 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 run to me. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. All the fear is leaving. I see my Holy Spirit coming in. Oh, it's blowing away the doubts. It's blowing away the pain. It's blowing away the fear. It's blowing it all the way. I'm 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 blowing it all the way. I am your chief cornerstone. I am your chief cornerstone. And you got to stand strong. You got to stand on me. Because all other ground is shaking ground. All other ground is shaking ground. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm in my love. In my love. In my love. In my love for you. Stand firm, stand firm, stand firm, stand firm, and you won't be shaken. Only I'm gonna shake you and move you and groove you and mold you. Only I will, only I will, only I will, only I will, only I will. There is no other lovers. No, 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 no. No more other lovers. No one else can have your heart. What if it was that easy just to be loved more? We try so hard to be all we can for the Lord. We try and we get frustrated with ourselves when we blow it, but we keep trying, we keep trying. And what if the Lord is just saying right now in this moment, stop trying, stop trying, just rest. Stop striving, just rest. Let me love you more. Let me love you more right now, right where you're at. And when I love you more, your efforts will be a lot easier. Just be loved. Be loved. Because my love will keep you And my strength will protect you My power explodes all over you And my peace surrounds you My grace and mercy is you And my joy will lift you high 
So what do we have to do? It's done. What do we have to do? And so our response is, Lord, we just step in to the deep end of your love this morning. The invitation that you've extended to open up greater places, deeper places of your heart, God. We see that. We step into that. We come toward you. We don't walk. We run. Because we're home in your heart. We're home in your heart. And the Lord says this morning, I have, I have such places in my heart to show you. You haven't even scratched the surface. Because the territory is great. The expanse is vast. And together, you and I, we're going to go seek it out together. We're going to explore it. We're going to go take an adventure together. But you've got to be seated in my heart so that the only thing that overwhelms you is me and not the battle and not the territory that you have to occupy, not even the things that I've called you to do. Because if I showed you everything, it would overwhelm you. So stay seated in my love. And so our response is this. I worship with all of my And I will seek you all of my day. And I will follow all of your ways.
Every tribe and tongue Every people, every nation I guess we can respond by being radical. Thank you for loving us. We just 
pray for Pastor Crystal as she comes up. Pray that a fresh fire falls upon her lips. So she's all primed with the love of God. I just say, church, you better watch out. In Jesus' name. Everybody said... Give him a hand clap. Come on. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoop. While we were worshiping, the Lord not only gave me a word, but he gave me a vision. And it's for those in-house, but it's for live stream also. He said, this year he's coming after you. He's coming after you. There are those that the word that was given at the beginning of this year was that we will see wickedness face to face unmasked and in one camp that means that there's been a great deception but that eyes will be open and we will see deception for what it is but there is another camp and that word this camp is for you and that is for those that already have seen wickedness face to face, that you live in terror, that you have made choices and decisions to follow a path of darkness, of wickedness, but there is a terror that resides down deep. There's a punishment if you step out of line or out of order. There are promises that have been given to you by darkness, but there's a great price that you're expected to pay. And the Lord says to tell you he's coming after you this year. He's coming after you. And what he's going to show you in the unveiling is not the deception of something you didn't know. He's going to unveil the defeat of what you thought was powerful. I tell people, and I will say it now, there is one good thing about a devil, only one, but one very good thing about a devil, and that is that he is utterly completely and totally defeated by and through the blood of the Lamb and the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I am here to tell you that God knows who you are. I saw some of you when he was showing me this, you stomping your feet and saying, I don't choose God. I don't choose God. He already knows who you are. He already knows, Jesus said, who the Father's given me, I've not lost one. He already knows you belong to him. You don't yet, but he knows. And he says, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Nothing will stop me because I am coming after you. Hallelujah.